Well, it's time for Aki's to take on Cove Rangers in the Championship. Currently, we sit bottom of the table, but we know if we get a win today, it could lift us off that bottom space. Team lineups are out, and as I said on Twitter, it is a much changed lineup, um, as you would expect with injuries and suspensions. So, Jamie Smith continues on goal after coming in uh, the warm up against our broth. It looks like we've got a back four of Ellis Brown, uh, Doyle, Easton, and Shields. Um, I was at the under 18s game, the reserve game, the under 18s game, sorry, on Friday night. And uh, one of the fans there said that Ellis Brown was man of the match last time he saw the reserves and he played right back. Um, maybe that's played into it a little bit or maybe genuinely it's just a case of lack of options in that position. But Ellis Brown plays at right back. That looks to be the back four. You've got Vertanen, uh, you've got Vertanen Lawson and Ngandu in the middle. And it looks like Andy Ryan through the middle with Winter out wide and Lewis Smith on the other wing. So looks like he's sticking with his 4-3-3 at regular. You could look at it as a 4-4-2. We'll need to see how it lines up with we get in the game but I would I'm more suspecting his usual 4-3-3. In terms of how we're feeling today, I'm not feeling great. The lineup being out hasn't helped. I wasn't feeling too confident before the game anyway, but um now the lineup's out I'm feeling a little bit less confident so I do think we'll lose today. It's unfortunate but I, I do think we'll lose and um the way we're going currently if we lose this game then then I don't. I genuinely don't know what's going to happen. I was speaking to fans at the game on Friday night, and you know, a lot of them do think that we are getting relegated. There's nothing we can do now to save the season. We are where we are. We're not showing any consistency, and that's the biggest thing: is getting try to get some consistency in the game. You know, we had a good performance, a disappointing loss against Partick Thistle, a good performance, a good result against Inverness, and then a disappointing performance and a bad result against our bros. We need to get consistency in it. And I hope it kickstarts today. I hope it starts today. And then we can get more players back in to help build up the squad. But I don't think it's going to go that way. And it's... I never like, I never like going against Aki's. I never like saying that I think we'll lose. But I do think it'll be the case today. <laughs> Today, and there is no place for racism or any form of discrimination within football and in our society. Thank you very much. Well, started as started as we thought it would. Both Rangers, three corners back to back, unable to defend it. Goals scored for Mark Reynolds. Just unable to win the headers. Rankin and Daz both it. Ripping through the players after that goal, but lost every week. It gets worse every week! Going as we thought, 1-0 down. Approaching the end of the first half here, it's just... Struggling to... I don't know, struggling to talk about it. And it's just lack of perceived effort for the team. We're no threatening at all going forward. We're weak in midfield. We're getting out, fought, outplayed, outworked. And we're winning every, every header, every long ball, but we persist with playing it in the air. We've had a handful of corners, none of them have threatened barely any of them have went to their own players in the box. Just, I think, I, can't, just as I think I can't get any worse. Handball when we give away a penalty. This is just, this is embarrassing. Half time, pretty much. Andy Winter does get a goal back. 2 1 behind, but it's a. At least gives a little bit of hope going into the second half. And we thought we were going to be 2 0 down. Chance from the fans have sacked the board over at that far end. Half time, and it's Aki's 1 Cove 2. And I was just on their score just before half time. And you know, I was speaking to a lot of the fans, a lot of them were. About, we're about to walk out at half time before we scored that goal. It's giving us a little bit of hope, but it's bad today. It's really, really bad. And the, the problem we're having is the problem I see it. You're playing Andy Winner out wide when he is, I think, our most threatening goal scorer. And also, there's just. I just see a, a real lack of effort and hard work in the team. Now. I just. I don't know. I'm looking as if. I've not seen anybody that, that's really caring, anybody that's really interested in it. Other than the likes of Andy Witt and Andy Ryan, I would say the only two that look like they really care. You know, and lack of effort all over. Daz and, um, and 
Rankin are down in the touchline, screaming it. Nearly every single player individually to give more, we need to see more, because they're obviously seeing that lack of effort in work rate as well. But I don't know what we can do to change it, this is the problem, and it's bad, it's very, very bad today. As I mentioned just briefly, there was chance, sack the board. It's just a bad place to do in terms of atmosphere feeling. Nobody's feeling positive about the game today. Nobody's feeling positive about the team right now. And you can probably tell why with the situation that we're in. So we're 2-1 down at half time. We need to see a big improvement. We want to get anything from the game. But at the moment, I don't see it happening. They score right, they score right at the start of the second half to make it 3-1. As I mentioned at half time, embarrassing, no real effort. Just been out for bullied at the back. And they make it 3 1. You can tell by the silence the way the fans are feeling. A lot of them fed up, done in, already a few walking home. This is horrific. This is really, really bad for them. That sport. I was literally just saying this could easily be 4 or 5, and it's 4. And it's just embarrassing, as I said earlier. No effort, no work rate, nobody cares. Deservedly behind, deservedly beaten, deservedly bottom of the table. Embarrassing now. This is, this is turned into a very mental game. Andy Ryan just scored to make it 4-2. It's just like every time we take a step forward, we take two steps back. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's another goal, it's a quick reply. Not much else I can say. And out of nowhere, Aki's have now got a penalty to possibly make it 4-3. Steve Lawson is going to step up and take it. Andy Winter's taken out right in the edge of the box. Definitely a penalty. Steve Lawson's going to step up and make this hopefully 4-3. With five minutes to go, Aki's going to be given an indirect free kick for Kyle Gurley handling the ball longer than six seconds. So you have an indirect free kick from inside the box, but pretty much right on the edge. This has turned into one of the most metal games in the championship so far today. 4-3 and Aki's have an indirect free, free kick with five minutes to go. time and <laughs> wow what a game um not one that i expected as you can see by the um by the highlights as they went on i still wasn't confident where we're gonna get back into the game even when it went 4-3 you may have seen on twitter 4-1 down i absolutely um i'm happy with the point but the fact that we were 4-1 four, four down in the first place isn't good enough i thought for a lot of that game for the majority of that game i saw a real lack of work effort uh, work ethic i saw a real uh, lack of hard work we, as I said, we were deservedly we were deservedly getting beat. We were deservedly bottom of the table. I know we're only second bottom eh, at the moment with that point, but still, um, I think for the vast majority we weren't good enough today. Um, yes, it is an exciting game. Yes, like I said, I'm happy with the point, eh, especially after being in that position, but not good enough again today. Eh, I don't think. And um, you heard the fans' frustrations. I mentioned that in the video, the frustration with the performance, the fr frustration with John Rankin and the team. So I don't know what the next step is. I don't know what's going to happen from here on out, but um, it's an important point. But as I said a few times now, not good enough to be in that position where we're happy to get a point at home against Cove. So I'm about to hear from John Rankin and Andy Ryan and the press. So enjoy that. Thank you for all the support on the podcast and that recently. It's been fantastic. And we'll see you next week. Did I enjoy it? No. I never enjoyed it one bit. Uh, for 55 minutes, that wasn't your team. 
that wasn't our team and that's the, the, the overriding disappointing fact of the day. How it takes us 53 minutes when they scored the fourth goal for us to get involved or even get started in the game, it's, it's really poor and that's my disappointment. What I will say is, see for that 35 minutes, that's Daz and myself's team on that pitch. That's our team, that's the energy, that's the uh, desire levels and the, the athleticism that, I, that we demand every day. And for the first 55 minutes, the disappointment within that was huge. And it's not good enough and it's not acceptable. But what I will say is the spirit and the character for the players on that pitch in the last 35 minutes was, to a man, incredible. The, the huge factor for me is we're putting a 17-year-old and a 16-year-old on the pitch chasing a game. And I think that 17-year-old changed the game with it. We put Chrissy McGinn on at left back and his driving runs to get us forward. They showed great courage in the game. And I'm excited for him, but we've got to remember he's only 17. But it's it's a huge credit to the academy and how we get them ready to get them all going to play. And of course, obviously the trust in them as well. But I loved watching the two of them go on the pitch and try and influence it. And listen, the character for 35 minutes is great, but I'm not accepting how bad that was for 55. Aye, listen, I, 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 I heard the shout, ranking. you've lost the dressing room, the players have gone. The players have they gone. I'm not daft. I know I look at them in the eyes every day and I know exactly what's here. And to hear that shout, it hurts. But then to see them put on that performance for 35 minutes shows that that's not the case and shows they're right behind us. And it's a case of they believe in what we're doing. Yeah, we're going through a tough period. We need players back. We get obviously Miko and Chucky back, and then you get Darren and Scotty suspended. But that character and that team in the 35 minutes that we had, and they took responsibility because there was kids in the pitch. I need them to take that responsibility when there's everybody on the pitch. The first half, I thought we played as a bunch of individuals. The second half, we played as a Hamilton Aki's team that I remember years ago. And it needs to be like that week in, week out. The, the fans will back you here if your players get stuck in. And for 35 minutes, we get stuck in. So there's no, I'm not getting disheartened. I'm absolutely livid. The first 55, and it's not acceptable, but I'll tell you, the, the second 35, that's, that shows you what the fans can actually do for us. Uh, they got behind us. Uh, near the, the latter part of the game, they realised we were struggling, they realised we needed a wee bit of energy within the ground and they gave us that and we got that and I thought it was it was brilliant and we need that, see as, as a young group you need you need the supporters behind you, take the frustration out of me, I'm fine, I've got big enough shoulders but let them go and play, let them go and express themselves and I loved watching them the second half, take away the first 10 minutes but that is a Hamilton Aki's team that I can remember and put my name to. I spoke to the referee at the time, he said listen keep your arms down, you're showing dissent, uh, it wasn't dissent, it was uh, I'll call it frustration and JP's through, JP's through one on one with the goalkeeper, let's be honest about it, their goalkeeper, their uh, centre half pulling him. I get that, it's desperation from the centre half, he's wrong side, he's trying to pull their player to try and get back to, to where he's got away with one. But the, the mature side of our play, and they're only young guys, when they realise it's things are going against them and not to let it affect them, and continue to have that fresh, fresh thoughts in their mind and how they're going to go and break the team down. And JP, you've got to remember, he's only 20 year old, but that, that changes the game for me as well because it makes it, it's a siege mentality for us. It's them against us. And it, today I thought, as I said, the 35 minutes when we needed the players, uh, they, were, they were absolutely brilliant. We see if that doesn't kick us on, there's a problem. Because you, you can see the spirit, you can see the spirit, you can see the togetherness for that 35 minutes. But the, the, the overriding factor for me is, and the bit that's burning inside is, see that 55 minutes at the beginning, how does that happen? How does that happen? Are they, are they dragging one another? Are they demanding off one another? Or because we go a goal behind, is it, are they going in their shells? And I'm certainly, I don't want them going in their shells. I'd rather they take the ball and give it away 10 times out of 10 than had they never took it at all. And as I said, the, the, the kids play with a free spirit and a, a freedom. And I loved watching them playing for 35 minutes there. And I'm talking about kids, I'm talking about Chrissy McGinn and Ryan Oney. Two, two guys came on and changed the game. And listen, I, I loved the last 35, but I didn't enjoy today at all. Listen, we've been punished for time wasting in the past. and criticised because it, for me, that, that was <coughs> probably overstepping the, ma the mark. Uh, he, he had the hold of the ball, the referee quite rightly said it was 17 seconds he had the hold of the ball, so he's quite, he's aware of what's going on. Uh, and the, the player was, was saying because right, Andy Ryan's close to him, it doesn't stop him kicking the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, he's probably took a chance there and, and cost his team today, but listen, I'm not here to, to worry about that. I'm proud of what we had in 35 minutes. I'm disappointed for the first 55 and the players know that and we'll be ready to go again. I don't know how we can be so bad for 55, 60 minutes and then just turn like that in the last, last half an hour. It's, just, it's baffling, but you know, it would, it would have been easy for us just to 
come going forward and, and, and they'll get that reaction for the last half an hour. So so credit credit to the, to the boys for that. But well, I can I can me has been one of the, the more experienced ones and one of the voices that no point for the manager. That's that's a lot of nonsense. You know, every single one of the players enjoys working every day, enjoys under the manager. You know, we we, we are set up in a way to go and win a game and. It's on us when we go into that pitch. You know what I mean? It's it's us. I said that in my, my, my press during the week. It's up to us to start to take responsibility. But on your question, it, it shows that we have got character. We are playing for the manager. We are desperate to, 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 to win games. But you know, it's it's difficult when you're conceding four goals or even scoring four goals at home and then still still only come away with a point. It's we need to be better. It was an indirect free kick, so it's, it's always difficult. You know the wall. Always moves early, and, and, and before you know it, I'd actually told Steve to, to dummy the first one and, and then play it on the second one to try and get them going back a wee bit. But he decided to play it in the first one, so um, it, it, was, it was slow motion when it was going in. I kind of seen it spinning, and it, I think it just went past Reynolds' shoulder. And luckily, it, 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 it hit the back of the net, and it was just a moment of joy. Yeah, I will. It's, it's got to be, you know, the, the difference in the last, last 35 minutes is. We're playing forward, we're playing in your half, we've got them pinned back, we're playing under pressure, we're putting them under pressure, sorry. And you, you can see the, the switch and the difference. They start to panic, whereas in the first bit, it's us that are panicking with the clearances and slashing them, and they're picking up the second balls, and it's actually us that are picking up the second balls, and you're going to attack. So it's, it's trying to find the balance where we're not being vulnerable on the counter attack. It's the goals that are getting are just so, so easy, you know. You come out to start the second half, we'll, we'll, we'll try to get ourselves back in the game, get the next goal. I think we actually had a chance right to the very start, then before you know it, the, the other partner scored. You know what I mean? So we need to be better on that side. So we need to find a balance where we're tightening it up defensively as a team, but you know, also finding that balance when, when, when we do go forward, we're a threat.